to Spartaca Fight League Radio with your hosts, Mikey B and Chris Alani. Let's go to war! It's fight time! And welcome to SFL Radio. SFL 36, I'm your host, Mikey V. And I'm Chris Alani, and we're here at the Ted Costa Convocation Center. Once again, this is our third time, but this is 36 for them. And we're going to say it again, the energy's here, you can feel it. We have a stacked fight card. Yes. A couple last, couple last minute changes, we had some people drop off, a couple people we were looking forward to seeing, but it all worked out. Even to this moment right now, to my knowledge, Jimmy is still working hard on filling some of those spots, but... Uh, we have the latest, uh, latest and greatest of who's going to be fighting tonight. So, I mean, and from what I'm seeing, we, we have a legit light just on this alone. Yeah, the two main events are going to be awesome. I'm excited oh, yeah. to see where these belts go tonight. You weren't there yet uh, yesterday, Mike, but uh, there was there were some uh, some ex- words of exchange between oh, yeah. the different fighters. I, I will say, actually, between the online and like what people building up to this fight have been doing, between the social media, the crap talking. I don't know if it's because of the <laughs> Conor McGregor thing and what went down recently, you know, with that whole thing. But I'll tell you what, everybody's amped up. Uh, a lot of people are passionate about who they want. So I think uh, there's going to be some people that wish they hadn't have uh, acted out, I think. <laughs> yeah, someone, depending on someone's which way eating it goes. their words. Someone's eating their words Exactly, tonight. yeah. Um, SFL 36, uh, if you notice that me and, Mike, me and Mike are not fighting, we just have distance between each other because yes. we're thinking about having the fighters in the center. Changing it up. Center. Change it up. Something different. You let us know at home. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Comment below. We read everything. That's right. Um, and this is going to be, uh, of course, on our YouTube, but it'll also be on Google Play. And uh, we're not on iTunes yet, still. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're still. trying. We're working on it. We're working <laughs> on it. So. But, Mike, are you excited, man? I am. And we got our new lights, by the way, yes. if you can't tell. We're let, actually, you can see us. Let us know what you think about all this, because, uh, like I said, obviously, if you watched our first one, it wasn't as great. Now it's like, now we're getting better. Like, let us know what else you want to do. What else do you want me and Mike to say? Any other questions? Uh, we're here for you. We're, we're here for the people. And uh, you can email us, sflradio757 at gmail.com. And that goes for any of the fighters as well, too. If you hear a challenge or if you hear something that they say that you want to comment on, comment below or, better yet, message us directly and we'll make sure to find it. Isaiah, you can hit us up on social media. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. All right. Well, hey, we got to go around. We got to say hi to some of the fighters before the fights. Uh, We're going to have a couple uh, guests tonight that will actually be sitting down with us. Yep, yep, yep. All right. We'll see you guys after the break. SFL Radio. And we are back. SFL 36. Hi. hi. <laughs> Tell everybody who you are. I'm Monica. I'm one of the volunteer coordinators here with Spartaca. Yes. Without you, a lot of this would not be possible. I would like to thank our wonderful volunteers as well because they're the ones doing the heavy lifting because your girl can't. True, yes, true. we do appreciate all the volunteers. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this stage that we're on. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have the half stuff. Yeah. And uh, Monica, you're a volunteer too, so we appreciate you. Oh, Don't sell you. yourself short. <laughs> yes, yes. Come on, yeah. You're I'm really short, though. Needed. You also do awesome pictures. I have. I have taken pretty good pictures. Wait till you see the one of Elias Briley I took tonight. Ooh. You will love it. And, well, actually, but, well, the readers and, oh, I'm sorry, readers, listeners will hear this, and I will have uh, a back picture pop up so they can see it. Ooh, yeah, definitely. I'll email that to you. So, so, yeah, send us that profile, you know, that Tinder profile picture that you have of us. I will we'll that definitely down. do that. <laughs> so and my I've, Bumble and my OK. Everyone's gonna be swiping right like crazy. That's it. Crazy. That's it. This is uh, gonna be my it. newsletter entry. But uh, here at SFL Radio, one of the things we do like to do is bring on guests. You know, people behind the scenes. Monica's no exception. Uh, she is a volunteer here. Any? Would you say anyone can volunteer for that? Like, what? Who yeah, are some of the people um, you're looking for? What? What is? Uh, what does Jimmy want? I'm looking for people who are motivated to help. They don't mind working on their feet a lot. This is a very physically intensive part, uh, especially cage building. But people with a go-to attitude who just love helping people and love what they do, not because of how they're rewarded, because of who they are helping out. Yeah. And uh, we have a lot of volunteers. I'm. What's the number? Right now we're at 45. Wow. That's great. And that's, uh, you know, people coming out on their own time and doing that. That's, a, that's yeah. an awesome thing. So it's great. Um, we have a lot of the schoolhouse Marines from the area around. 
we have a lot of the ships here. The USS Ford is here, I believe. Okay. And so it's just really uh, including the community. All right. Well, we're gonna about to get. I think the fights are gonna be starting here soon. Monica, thank you for coming out thank you. and uh, hanging out with us. She didn't think that she was gonna be on. It's like you we can really do something. Like you are our volunteer of the night. Thank yes. you. I love y'all, and I love us. We love you. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. Wake up. SFL Radio. And we are back, SFL 36. And what a first <laughs> fight that was. Uh, that was amazing. That was, I, I didn't expect that in the first fight. We usually, like I said, usually first fights are really quick. Yeah. This one ended in a first round KO, uh, TKO, excuse me, by submission by kicks. Uh, I've never seen that uh, in uh, SFL. I mean, uh, you know, SFL yeah. since we've been here. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty amazing. We are joined here by the winner of the last fight, Kim A. Uh, Kim, hey, how congratulations, you doing? man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, what was going through your mind through that fight, man? Like, uh, well, you were, you were, there was some, I, you were I showing got, a lot of energy. I got a question for y'all. First, how, how many seconds was that? Uh, I think it was two minutes and 30 something seconds. Yeah, right. I, I didn't hear well, what I My think. last fight, I got a two hour second knockout, so without doubt, that was alright. Okay, you know, okay. Was all right, yeah. So, was, is this, uh, one, is this your second fight or is my this? Four, a, my fifth. Your fifth? Okay. I was, you know, okay. I was supposed to be a title fight. My opponent fell through, and then he, that guy, he stepped up, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. a warrior. Okay. And then he took on the fight. Literally, I was getting my my physical. That's why I took so long. I got here at 6 o'clock. Oh, wow. Okay. They let me leave to get my physical. And I got a call. It's not a tight fight. It's just a regular amateur fight. So I was pretty upset. I wanted to make a statement. I didn't want to just go in there and rush him. I wanted to just like, I just wanted to hurt something. Well, looking at your fight, I could tell you had a very you have a strong Muay Thai background. And Actually, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I got a black belt talk on those. So. There you go. See, hey, it you didn't know? seem like either of you were interested in going to the ground at all. Yeah. Since when when I grabbed him, I thought he was going to try to shoot, but then since he wasn't, I was like, all right, it's going to be stand up. It's going to be a fun fight. I could tell, like I said, you guys are, right, and that's what I like to see. But you know, if it had it gone to the ground, I mean, would you been able to handle that? Oh as yeah, well too? oh yeah. Okay. Yes sir. Cool. Yes sir. Cool. Well, uh, Kim, what I mean, what's in the future for you, man? Like, what, what do you want to do after this? And what do you? What, what? I just want to get my experience up. I want to. I don't want to fight these like scrubs. Build my record. I didn't go to get a pro. I want to fight all the best people right now. Right now. If I lose, then I lose, you know? Awesome. As long as I got God with me, I can do anything. Well, I'll tell you what. Since you're saying that right now, um, what, is there anything you want to tell the people at home or the people watching you that couldn't be here tonight? Uh, I, I want to thank uh, everybody for supporting me, and uh, I'll be home soon. All right. Cool. cool. Hey, well, Kim, Thanks. congratulations to win. Go back there and celebrate, my friend. We're looking forward thank to more. You. SFL Radio. Oh, and we're back. Okay, sorry about that. So Mike is actually currently taking a call. Um, so I'll be handling this then. So welcome to my show. I'm just kidding. We are joined by this is SFL 36. If you don't know, we told you last time. You're gonna hear it again all night. We are joined here by Timothy Player. Timothy just won the last round. Third, third round actually is submission. Um, I watched the whole thing. So in the first two rounds, it looks like. You guys, you were standing up with him. You were, you were, you know, you're banging out with him. But what, what did, did the plan change in the middle of the fight? What happened there? What was going through your mind? I think the plan the whole time around was to try to chip away and then look for the shot. Uh -huh. It's always hard to look for the shot when you know that strike is coming in there, that knee could be there. Mm -hmm. So I think I kind of was a little tentative of that. So I actually liked it when he went down, tried to do the sweep, and I was able to take him down instead. Yeah, I saw that. And I mean, going into this fight, did you have any game plans? I mean, did you do some research or was it more like, let's just focus on myself and what I can do? Well, actually, it switched up the last second. I was supposed to fight somebody else. Okay. Um, he came in actually overweight yesterday, which I still was going to take the fight, but then he never showed up today. Oh, so wow. I didn't know until about an hour before the name of the guy I was fighting, so I didn't know his style or anything. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, at that point, it's all about training and what, you know, all the work they put in yourself. Um, you come from, you said, we were just talking before this, you come from Lynchburg, Virginia, and you said you fight out of uh, Renaissance Martial Arts. Or yes. They put RAM in there, is that like the acronym? Yes. Or? Yeah. Okay, yep. okay, that's cool. And, I mean, and you said that most of you guys, like, you, you train in, like, self-defense, but you actually branched out, did MMA. Yes, yeah, there's a whole competition team that gets a little more intense with it. Um, yeah. But the main part of it, I've trained there, that's the only place I've ever trained martial arts for four and a half years, just coming up, going through kickboxing and a lot of jiu-jitsu. Awesome, and this was your first fight. Yes. How you feeling, man? Pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what. So, what's the plans after this, man? What's uh, what do you what do you have in store for yourself? I think mainly I prefer the sub grappling scene, the jiu 
jiu-jitsu scene. I really wanted to do one MMA fight, but I think it'll probably be going back to focusing on that with submission grappling. Cool, cool, cool. Well, is there anything you want to tell the people at home, the people who couldn't watch the fight? Um, I pre really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and do this. Um, definitely without my teammates, definitely wouldn't be possible. So I really appreciate everything. They, awesome. They well, you hear it here first. Hopefully we'll see more in the future. Congratulations on your win. Appreciate it. SFL Radio. We are back, SFL 36. I'm Chris Alani. I'm Mikey V. And he's back with us. And this is so I can't all the stuff that he said previous I said previously, don't tell him. I was just talking about I was just talking smack. That's all. Oh, it's okay, all in okay. fun. It's all in fun. Anyway, uh, <laughs> an extremely entertaining fight. Uh, we were in the last interview, I literally like I was interviewing and then I just heard screams like in the first 10 seconds. And I looked him, I you know, I looked in the cage, and this man sitting next to me, Manny, uh, who was obviously the winner in the last fight, uh, Manny Fernandez. He actually was just a pretty big. You came out. Is that what your plan was to come out there and just? Yeah, sidekick is something I perfected. Uh, I think you guys saw that, but I throw I throw that kick all the time. It's my favorite kick. <laughs> well, uh, for the people at home, it said if you watch the fight, uh, you definitely got to see how it ended. Uh, it was a very clean kick, uh, and it ended. Probably after what I would normally would have after someone got kicked in the head like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what was uh, going through your mind through that fight, man? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I've never been punched in the face before, so I got hit in the forehead a few times. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. The knee that caught me on the forehead didn't hurt at all, surprisingly. I expected it to hurt a lot more. Um, I wasn't too satisfied with my hands. The, the range and the distance was awkward, uh, but my legs will always be there. My legs, The range with my legs is like no one else. Oh, the speed of your kicks were amazing. Like I said, I, I and like I said, the energy you brought into the thing, you're definitely with the aggressor in the first round and ended like I said, ended pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, are, are you a little sad that it actually ended as fast as it did? Is that what was that your intention? <laughs> Not really. I kinda wanna go get some Panda Express to be honest. So. <laughs> the quicker the better. I can put food in my stomach. Ready to eat. I'm ready to eat junk food. I ate a lot last night, but it was not junky at all, so. That's cool. Well, I'm ready to smash some Sweet Frog and Panda Express. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, um, do you have anything you want to tell the people at home, people who couldn't come up to the or the people that are here? Listen, I wrestled for four years, and I was always compared to family members and how strong their mentality was. I don't have the best work ethic. I'm not the most mentally tough person. I'm simply disciplined, and I'm consistent. That's all it is. So you can be out here, try to grit it out, try to see who has the biggest heart. But if you're putting more hours in, you're going to be sharper, you're going to be better, you're going to be more precise. Cool. And uh, man, if people want to find you on social media or if they want to follow your journey. Yeah, my Instagram is mma.nny. All right, cool. So there you go. Hey, well, congratulations on your win, man. Thank you. And like hey, we're, looking, we're looking forward to seeing more. You yeah, will see more. I you might will see more. After you eat. <laughs> That's for sure. You should be wondering why he's in a 185 division yeah. now. <laughs> you're going to have to go up a weight class. Thank you so much. All right. All right, man. We will be back after the next fight. We look up. SFL Radio. Welcome back, SFL Radio. SFL 36. Chris Simpson. Ha. Yeah. Yes, by far our, I like our, that. Our, I like that with the lights, people can actually see you. Yeah, I'm gonna, By far our moist, our moistest uh, uh, <laughs> fighter sure. for the night. Probably That's cool. <laughs> but dude, hey, great showing out there, man. Uh, obviously, the people get home. See, so you have a cut. Uh, how you feeling, man? You doing all right? Yeah, man. Was, I, I the cut, cut went nothing, man. I'm just here to get this win, man. I, whatever it took to get it. You know, I had to grind him out. He's good. He had, he had good stand up. I felt he's kind of dangerous. So I felt the need to pressure him with the cage, get takedowns, grind it out. Clean takedowns. Oh. Very clean. In the, in the first round and stuff, I saw. Yeah, I saw you were trying to. I saw you were trying to go for that suplex, yeah, though. Yeah. I'm I, we, he head, kept man. saying, "I think he wants to slam him out." I think that that's was, how he's gonna. I was trying to man pull too, too much energy early, but it won't nothing down. I made. Hey, I made it up here. He, <laughs> he, he my coach, man. He thought I was stalling, but he had to take down the fence. He was making it hard to get him down. He made some decent shots, but nothing too serious. Okay, cool. Yep. Did you do anything special for this fight or well, game, same game plan? You know, I was supposed to fight dropped out, wasn't here. Oh, so, okay. This is a last minute fill in. Okay. I got guess he he came in yesterday at 165. So man, it's whatever. He was good though, he had good stand up. I felt how I felt how dangerous he was. So I just felt whatever it took to get the win. It was kind of funny because you stood up 
and then you know you you had blood yeah. running down you, yeah. and then your hair was slicked back. Uh, someone had made a comment. You look like Kratos from God oh, of War. Yeah. And then, yeah. then he said <laughs> it. Then he hair. said it before. And then when the blood came in, he goes, "Now it really looks yeah, like." Yeah, it looks like Kratos. That's, that's, that's a compliment. I'll take that. <laughs> Boys. Uh, but uh, same question. Do um, you have anything you want to tell people at home and other people that? No, nah, man. Don't don't be turned off by the blood on me. I'm not. They don't that phase me. Um, I, I really I needed that win. I, I didn't care what it took. And you mean it came out with it, so that's all that matters. Awesome. Well, if people want to follow your journey or if they want to contact you, do you have any social media plugs or anything they can follow yeah, you man. at? Um, I'm on Instagram, Chris Simpson07. Um, and also, if I come holler at my brother. He's going pro next fight, looking at big things. Just go check him out at David Simpson MMA. David Simpson underscore MMA. Um, he's got big things coming, man. People will be shocked to hear the news he's going to have coming. So, that's awesome. Yeah, man. awesome. I feel a little naked up here. Everyone here has these beautiful beards. And uh, I got this new man right? shoe. Yeah, he's right. he's right. he got a nice beard. Man. I see him on Facebook with his stuff too, man. <laughs> I'm, nice, man. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. No, it's solid. Better than I got going. Hey, well, congratulations, congratulations to win. Thank I want to see much, more guys. of you, my friend. Thank you very much. And thank, thank you for having me. Of course. Sir. I love the setup y'all have here. It'll make it very seem very professional. Thank you. And I'm seem, honored, honored. We just to be seem it. it. We're not there. Yeah, no, we, y'all are, man. <laughs> we I'm perceive honored. the professionality, but there's no, y'all nothing. Are. They all, we are very professional. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm honored to be here, so thank you. Thank you Excellent. very much. Well, yeah, we'll get, you. let's get backstage, get cleaned up. Yeah, man, thank Have you. a good night. Thank you for watching. Hey, no problem. No problem. No worries, you guys man. very much. Thanks, man. And if you want to see that fight, make sure you can check it out. Fight.tv. Look it up, SFL36, and you can see... You can see the Chris wiped the blood on his pants. <laughs> Dude, I am having so much fun tonight. Like, you gotta go if they say if you're watching. These fights this, have just been incredible. Every one of them, except oh the one God. that I missed, because yeah. I had to step out. Yeah, he had to step out. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like everything, this is you gotta go. To, you gotta just watch it. Just fight.tv. Just go watch it. Watch right. it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in uh, next break here. Break it. She got real quiet, didn't uh, it? Yeah, yeah, I got quiet. All right, we'll be back. SFL Radio. Welcome back, SFL Radio, SFL 36. I'm Mikey V. And I'm Chris Alani. And we are joined here by three, Theo Relaya. Relaya? Relaya. Relaya. Yes. Relayang. Close, close. Like I said, well, now, people at home are going to know now because it's yeah, like seven yeah. times. <laughs> so, first of all, congratulations on your win. Uh, extremely, extremely entertaining fight. Yeah, I would say that's a one fight. If you're watching this on YouTube, that's one fight that you, you have to get my TV and watch because uh, that was intense, man. Well, first of all, you looked extremely confident in the ring. Yeah. Um, what was it going through your mind when that whole fight, man? Uh, you know, I just like my grandma recently passed away, uh, so two weeks. So I dedicated this victory to her, you know, and my my, my family and like all my friends. Do you feel like she's yeah. watching you right now, man? Yeah. So I just yeah. wanted to give that. So I was like, I felt like she was with me in there. So. Hey, that's a lot of stuff to bring. You know, that's a lot of weight to bring into the ring, yeah. man. Yeah. But, you know. But you, know, you were fighting for a reason, you know, yeah. like you went out there, you showed confidence and at the end I gotta ask you man, yeah, were, were, were you making a highlight, were you, were you trying to make a highlight, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought we saw some Taekwondo, a capoeira. we saw some Capoeira, you know. Yeah, yeah I was just like, man, <laughs> 10 seconds, let me just like go in, I'm gonna try to finish him, I'm not gonna let, let like, judge decision, I'm just my, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well I mean, um, anything, any words you want to tell the people at home or people who couldn't be here or the people that are here to support yeah. you? I heard a lot, you had a lot of people cheering for you out there. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for like this is my first time on Spartica, so I know it's like a big uh, venue, big show. So I wanted to give out, even though like I I wanted to, I won two titles already from like different promotion, but yeah, I say we saw I might eye on, my eye on uh, this, this 145 champ later. One of these guys, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. I, well, we're excited. We're excited to uh, see where you go with it, and I mean you put it out there. So yeah. yeah. If uh, I, people want to follow you at home, or if they want to follow yeah. your journey, do you have any social media plugs um, or? Yeah, uh, it's Theo Relay Yang, my name together on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and um, I go by the nick. And well, my, my personal account is Theo Flow, but you can just follow my MMA account. <laughs> okay, okay. That's cool, man. Well, um, is there any predictions or anything that you want to do in the future? I, I heard you said you want to, you're interested in coming back and fight for Spartaca again, go for the 145 Yeah, may, yeah that's a possibility. <laughs> but uh, eventually, this is, that is my uh, sixth fight. So I'm trying to go, eventually looking to go pro by sometime next year. So I'm going to get ready that too also. 
Hey, yeah. keep having a show like that. It's gonna happen. Oh yeah, man. I yeah. appreciate that, man. Hey, well, congratulations on your win. Hey, you got Definitely. Came congratulations. Thank I'll you, man. Hope to see more of you, my friend. Thank you. What's your guys' name, by the way? Uh, Mike and Chris. Mike and Mike Chris. And Chris. All right, yeah, yep. man. I'll catch you guys uh, at your show sometime. Yeah. There you go. All right. And for the people at home, if you want to see the fight, you can watch it at Fight.tv. All the fights are on there. Every SFL on there. But uh, you want to see what we were talking about with the Capoeira? Because you know everyone's probably wondering about <laughs> oh, yeah. so watching the Fight.tv, yeah. man. We were joking. Yeah, I hope you guys had put on a good show for you guys. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah, man. It definitely, definitely was. All right. Thank you, thank you guys. Time. All right, you got it. And right now we got uh, Congressman Scott Taylor is actually in the ring with uh, Jimmy Partica. Oh, thank you. Yep. Uh, thank you, congratulations. With uh, Jimmy's retirement was uh, two, uh, yesterday. Yes, yes. Uh, Mike actually attended. Yep, yep. It was it's awesome. Uh, I was boat. on the American Rover. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the boat I'm going to get married on. That's where my wedding is. Oh, yeah. There you go. But I got the idea from Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Jimmy had uh, Scott Taylor and the mayor in Norfolk there speak on his behalf. It was actually a really nice ceremony. Really well, cool. Speaking of uh, getting married, uh, your uh, future your fiance is actually in the ring. She's a ring girl today. today. That's right. Today. Absolutely. <laughs> I was telling Mike, you know, I was like, hey, Mike, that the redhead over there, she's checking you out, man. And you know, turned off flesh. You know, it's yeah. funny. She had asked me, would you be okay if, if I ring girl? Like, would you be fine with it? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. It'd be fun. But she actually, it's cool. I didn't know she was going to do it. She actually went to Jimmy on her own and set it up. So Wow. So, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So it was cool. Then she's like, oh, by the way, I'll bring girl next show. And I was like, oh, nice. Well, you know what? I have something to tell you about the next fight, too. I'm going to be a ring girl in, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Working on my body, which, by the way... I wish I could put that picture up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Because my body's getting right. Because you know why? Because we're sponsored by UFC Jim Norfolk. That's right. Podcast is sponsored by UFC Norfolk and Jim Norfolk. And me and Chris, uh, you'll catch us there various days uh, destroying ourselves. Yes. Literally destroying ourselves, like breaking <laughs> down and everything. And the cool thing is if you're a Spartaca Fight League listener... And you listen to us, Spartacus Fight League Radio. Uh, go to the UFC Gym Norfolk. Tell them that you listen to us. Mikey and uh, Chris sent you, and uh, they'll give you an exclusive right. offer just for our listeners. I'm uh, personally, I'm doing a lot of Muay Thai there. I enjoy okay. it. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been uh, just trying to do like the regular gut workouts. Yeah, which are killing me, by the oh, way. Oh yeah. So, all right, man. Well, hey, we're gonna we got a fight coming up. Uh, we'll be back after this. We are back, SFL 36. I'm Mikey V. And I'm Chris Alani. And uh, right now we got a uh, re-enlistment going on in the ring. Oh, wow. So, for YN1 in the Navy. Okay, cool. And that's, that's why we were talking a little bit quiet. Yeah. Because, uh, one, I go bad being like, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> that's how you feel right that's now. That's how you feel right now. But we're, we're showing restraint. Yes, yes. That's what we do. There we go. Hey, there, 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 there we go. Now we can be loud. Hey, yeah. Anyway, hey. congratulations um, to Darian. Yes, sir. Am I pronouncing it right? Darian, yes, sir. Darian, yes, God. Or is it, like, if you with a Philippine accent, Darian? Darian? Darian. <laughs> Darian. Darian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, geez. Oh, my God. None of that. Did you ever try I, that, though? I, no, we can't joke around that because you know why? Because they'll, they'll give them that name. I've it'll eaten. Be, oh, true, true. Darian, Darian. <laughs> I would love to be the one. And there's Jimmy Pardick in the background getting everybody all hyped up. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, like Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about Darian. Darian, congratulations, man. Like, you're obviously you've, you've met us before. <laughs> I say you're not a stranger to yeah, SFL, SFL Radio. Right, right. Yeah, right. Which means you're winning a lot, and that's a good thing. So, anyway, um, what were you going through? What was going through your mind through that whole match, man? Like, uh, man, you know, get a little closer. I found out, I found out where he's from. He's uh, a Turkish stand. A stand means land off, and I knew those types of people. They take training and like seriously. So I, I already knew before even studying him, it was gonna be a hard fight. And uh, I was really taken back by his power. He was very powerful. Yeah. He kicks, he strikes. He hits very hard. Uh, but looking at the fight, it looked like he wanted to make it a striking game. I see that you went for some takedowns and yeah, it seemed, it seemed early on that you like you wanted to take him down. Which is surprising, uh, especially from his culture. They're all wrestlers, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean he's like 12, like not too far from Dagestan, with 1,200 miles. But there are, it's a wrestling culture, so I'm actually surprised he didn't go for the takedown. He just wanted to bang, so that was shocking to me. Yeah, well, it was funny because I was watching the first round. You know, it looked like you wanted to go ahead and take it to the ground, but then the second round you did a. I saw you were trying to go for that uh, a high flying kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is about tonight. I don't know if it's the moon or something's going on. He said something crazy tonight. Everyone wants to do a highlight reel. Like tonight's highlight yeah. reel. 
That's yeah. a felt yeah, like, I can't wait to see all the pictures from this one. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I mean I mean I gotta say, you know, like you look great out there, Thank you know, you. it was very clean. Um I gotta ask, you know, like I said, what's uh, what's in it for the future, man? What, what what's what's the long? Yeah, where are you looking at going next? What do you want to do? Man, I want to go into the. Well, CES calls me. That does not guarantee I'm getting in there, but I, I really want to fight in their show. So after this, I'm gonna send this tape to them and see what happens. Cool. So okay. I want to do pro MMA. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey. All right. Well, keep it up, man. Thank you. You, uh, you did great tonight. We oh, are we got there. Oh, there. Oh. Oh. oh, going on right I'll in the middle of the ring. I'll have to bring up some pictures of this on uh, YouTube yes. so they can see it. Someone's getting married. Yeah. See, you never know what's going to happen in a fight. No. And you know what? It's what it's always about. It's about love, man. It's That's all right. about love among the fighters, a love about camaraderie, and apparently people getting married. So yeah. congratulations to the... Oh, they're even doing a dance and everything. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought, I, I'm not gonna lie, Mike. When I first saw it, I just saw knees on the ground from my view. I didn't see like that on the double cross. Yeah. I thought someone got like laid out. <laughs> when I was laying down? Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I just saw relax. I was on my feet. All I saw was knees on the ground. And I thought, did someone just get laid out in the middle of the floor? Like, like, like someone just get knocked out? But, yeah, well, that's a different type of flooring. But anyway. Um, if people want to follow you at home, uh, if you want to go set it or social media, like do you have any? Oh yeah, or? definitely. So Facebook is just Spidey Man, and also on Instagram, I have an Instagram page Spidey Man as well. I'm the only Spidey Man on there. Okay. So <laughs> you'll you'll find me on there. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Hey, well, uh, hopefully I want to see more of you in the future, man. You know, uh, but you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna awesome. take a break. I'm about to get married too. Oh, oh very, very nice. nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So next time we see you. You're gonna be a married man, man. Yes, sir. Like, All right. Like, hey. Well, congratulations on thank your you. win. Yep. Appreciate you much. Thank you, sir. Go thank back you, and sir. celebrate. Definitely. Thank you. We will right, be back guys. after the next fight. Uh, Mike, uh, before you uh, before you cut it, man, do like I'm um, like that was pretty cool, man. Like he even proposed her. Like that was yeah. That was that was like. I always see like groups getting in, it's like you never know with these fights what's going to happen, which I think is cool. It's not just like fight after fight after fight, yeah. you know, they give you a little bit of a break and you, there's always some kind of cool uh, military ceremony or something going yeah. on, you know, it's yeah. neat. And, and like I said, like that's what I love about the part of the man. Yeah. Like, Once it's run by a veteran, now it's retired Navy, yeah. the first time we can say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, it really looks after the troops. It really looks after the community. Uh, the mayor, that's what I said, the mayor of Norfolk at his retirement gave a speech on just how much Jimmy is, you know, going so much past what he does in the Navy by helping the community in the ways that he does with the Spartacus Nation charity and everything. So, yeah, well, hey, you know what? We are being uh, joined yeah. by a man who was supposed to fight tonight, but, you know, things kind of yes. fell through. You know, you saw him on, if you watched our. Last uh, NFL, uh, at the yeah. McGregor fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Why don't you remind the people at home who you are, man? All right, all right. This is Devon Alexander, the great. No, it's not. Tyus Thomas, stop it. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, so how y'all doing? Uh, I'm fucking. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really. <laughs> you want to start off with that? Uh, I'm just I'm getting a phone call, dude. Okay. Not, not anymore. She's not. A, they're, they're not important. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the fight tonight, man? Yo, this is. Quality, quality fights. Right. Everything. Crazy energy. I love it. I'm really upset. I don't get to. I don't get to be a part of this energy tonight. But uh, we are too. I was excited to see you. I was. Thanks. Yeah, so. That means a lot. That means yeah, a lot. man. I always like watching you fight. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, there was. Well, you know, it's funny. I want to throw this out there. You know, uh, Sleepy was talking. You know, <laughs> before, right? But then when the fight, when you couldn't find an opponent, I was yeah. expecting to see him really jump up. I was really expecting him jump up, like, oh, I'll give you the rematch anyway. <laughs> yeah. well, he, was, he was talking so much trash. Yeah. All of them. But you handle, it, you handle it like a pro. You handle it like a gentleman. I appreciate that. That means a lot. That really does. Man, look, I wanted to fight. I tried to get somebody. My guy backed out. They wanted me to fight Tony again. And I talked to Tony. I'm like, yo. Do you really want the smoke for a second time around? <laughs> he said, what do he say? What do he say? He said, honestly, I don't want to fight you again. <laughs> and that was his words, you know, not mine. He's a cool dude. I'm not going to lie. Me and Tony are friends. We're quality people. We used to train together like uh, two years ago. But I left that gym and I, I kind of branched out. I started learning more things at different places. Okay. But I, I'm not knocking him. I'm like, who wants, to, who wants to see that fight again? I'm, I'm not going to say he hasn't gotten better. I'm sure he has. But so have I. 
And honestly, at the end of the day, he got tired and I didn't. And if you look at me, you look at him, it's blatantly obvious who's going to tire off first. Well, you heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> so, so now what? What's next? Uh, I'm just uh, I'm going to keep my conditioning up, training up a little more and more. Uh, I'm going to walk in at a few different gyms here and there. I haven't really settled into a, an official home. So I still claim to be an independent fighter, but I train out of Diego Bispo. I train out of UFC. Uh, I'm going to walk in at a house of Muay Thai over in Norfolk. Uh, and I just, I'm in and out of these places all the time. I like picking up different pieces of knowledge here and there. You're kind of like an MMA maybe, mutt. Maybe, like, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe like what you were talking about where for some of the podcasts where you do some rolling and stuff. Maybe we can... Have him come in and roll you up at yes. UFC gym. Yes. No, yes. I'm yes. definitely down for that. I mean, you might as well just go heavyweight, Chris. I mean, I, right? I, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a weight class. I go mean. big, go big, go, go big, big go home. home. No <laughs> doubt, no, no I'm doubt. In my case, go big and get sent home. Yeah. To the hey, you know, if you want to go against, me, I'll 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 take good care of you. I'll send you home nice and early. You know, <laughs> yeah. no 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 nicks or bruises or nothing. It's a quick submission. Call it a night. He's gonna beat me with a phone book. I, <laughs> I want to ask, uh, what do you what do you got for the main event tonight? What do you think? Oh, oh, Elias, easy. Yeah. No, no question. How do you think it's gonna go down? Um, honestly, I I don't want to see a submission because I know Elias has hands. He has he has amazing strike game, but his last three fights, he got two submissions and one one what TKO I think. Yep. So yep. he's a quality fighter, no doubt. I stand by that through and through. But uh, if anything other than than I, self, if he doesn't win by the end of the second round, I'm gonna be hurt because I know he's better than that. We well, let's be honest, we've consistently seen him be better and better these last three, four fights oh yeah. nonstop. He's done nothing but progression. He's been good from the jump. So we'll, we'll see we what call, happens. We call that. We call that. Yeah. Well, we're, the first uh, SFL radio show. It was his first fight here. That was his first fight here, yeah. yeah. We had the opportunity really? to watch Yeah, so we through. like yeah. I remember us talking and I was like, man, we gotta keep your keep our eye on that dude, man. He's he's going somewhere. You can you tell. You can tell with certain fighters you can tell they have that it factor. There's just something right, about right, it. Right. And uh, what's funny is the stuff he says in his press conferences, um, some people might construe it as a uh, tacky, but I've seen him fight, it's all this is confidence. It's That's fact, it's confidence. What's your, right, confidence. When you're consciously aware of how great you are, you don't mind exuberating a certain level of, of self-assurance. And that's yeah. what I respect about him. As a fighter, as a man, as a quality dude, I stand by Elias through and through. I want to see him win tonight, and I want to see a knockout. A submission would just be... It, it, it's A submission for him would be would be easy. Yeah. I feel like the real win is getting a knockout on this dude. But I don't think Jacob Ashley is going to give it to him easy, you know what I mean? So... He's, he's gonna put up a fight. So let, let me just verify. Jacob Ashley is the same guy who backed out against Marshall last time around. That was a medical, I believe. Medical? Well, well, honestly, tonight my guy backed out for medical issues. So I'm really uh, I'm skeptical in the terms of. Well, you're a little biased issues. now because you're. Yeah, guy. exactly. <laughs> so so I'm, speaking, I'm speaking from a hurt place. I really am, and, That's it's, a- and it's my fault. You know. But I, I wanted to fight. I trained really hard. Nothing's worse than, as, as a young and coming up in the game, trying to get more and more experience, have someone pull out on you. And that's, it's just not, it's not fair to the fighters. It's not fair to uh, their fan base, you know, as slow growing as it is. It's not fair to them because they put in a lot of work. They, they show the support, they show the love for the fighter. And the fighter puts in a lot of work as far as dieting, exercising, especially for me, I'm a heavyweight, right? I'm 245 pounds. I'm not a small guy. But I do a lot to stay refined and conditioned, and I avoid eating a lot of really good food, and I, that hurts me, you know. So I skip out on a lot of quality meals. That's not fair to me. So let, let me we fight somebody. We miss one <laughs> meal, don't. and me and Mike are already raging. I said, yeah. Like, Where was my lunch? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. So I mean, well, it, you heard it here uh, first. You know, people at home, if you're in the heavyweight division and you want to fight, this man is he's down. Oh, love. He's I'm always down. <laughs> down to fight. Down to yeah, fight. no down doubt, no fight. doubt. Down to fight. Always down to throw hands. Any and anyone, any and everyone, really. Uh, just, just throw your hat in the ring, man. I'm not, I'm not scared of anybody. But at the same time, I'm consciously aware of uh, there's a certain level of respect you put out for heavyweights because these guys don't, they don't, they don't take anything lightly. I guarantee you yeah. that. <laughs> that was a funny pun. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's going on in the ring? They got a lot of photos going on. Yeah, they're doing a the photo. It looks like Diego Bispo 
they, their whole crew and everyone supporting uh, Rob the Slugger Server. Yes. They're all out there showing their love in this little intermission. Yeah, that's uh, good. It's nice to have a fan base, a group of people who stand behind you. That's, that's of course, backbone. of course. My first fight back in April, I had me and like four other dudes who were sitting in the back of the back, just nothing but screaming their heads off for me. And that meant the world to me. But that slowly snowballed into two, three, four people more and more. And next thing you know, you have a whole fan base. And it's just like, you got to represent for them. You got to hold it down. You got to give it all you got for the people who, are, who stand behind you. Yeah, I, mean, that, I, love, I love seeing things like this. I really do. All right, well, me personally, this is the intermission. I got to use the bathroom. I've been holding <laughs> this. I didn't want to miss a single fight. That's like, right. seriously, I did not leave. Want to leave. Like, even my girlfriend was watching me. Is like, are you going to ever use the restroom? I, you told me you need to use the restroom. You're like, Two Ew. fights ago, I'm like, And I get to sneak off for one, so. Apparently, I was actually booked to DJ tonight. And there was, yeah. Where at? Uh, at Lunacy. Oh. Which is where the after party well, is. That, I will, but I will it was be funny there. because I, I was like, they're like, how are you at the fights if you're DJing? And I was like, oh, shoot. And there it was on my end. There were, I, I was supposed to have it switched out, but it ended up Kevin Bell's covering me. Awesome DJ. So that's cool. No doubt, no doubt. So we're, Lunacy is held down. I'm still going to go there after a party. Oh, me too. I but was, I'm I not, for this. But I'm not going to. Uh, no, it's good in a tie. It's good. I was. I did that, you know, after Jimmy's retirement, I had to go do an event. And right, I, right, right. For the cigar event. That. And I ended up going out in the suit. You know, it was like a nice I was still, suit. Thank you, thank you. Clean, very, very well fitted. Thank you. And it was, it was. Uh, I, I was like, damn, I don't have time to change. I ended up going out way overdressed. But people like, like, I like the suit. It's a nice touch. And no I was like, you know what? No, no one will ever knock you for, for dressing for overdressing. No, 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 not at all. You can always dress up. Don't dress down. Precisely, precisely. I like it. Well, hey, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna see what's coming up next and uh, bring on some more fighters. We'll yeah, be back. Yeah. SFL Radio. Welcome back to SFL 36. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I got to ask you. So we're, we're here with the winner of the last round. David Gladfelt. Yep. So congratulations on your win. Oh, thank uh, you. I got to ask you, though. Uh, you didn't look really happy, though, up there. Like, I mean, like, uh, are you happy with your win? Or? I'm kind of disappointed, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How come? I, I don't know, man. I, don't, I just don't think I did as good as I, sh- I could have or I should have, you know. But... I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I won, but, you know, I just, I guess this is what we train for, you know, we gotta, performance is a big, you know, part of it, like, you could have all the skills in the world, but, you, you know, it's a whole, being out there and being in the gym are two kind of completely different things, you know, well, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 absolutely, and absolutely. I just, I just feel like I didn't, um, let out my full performance out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Was it, was it because of the, it was a submission by Rear Naked Choke? Like, did you want to finish it a different way? Or? Well, well, I mean, I, I don't know. I would have preferred to knock him out, but he ended up taking me down, and I got a, you know, me getting taken down is kind of a, a bad thing in my eyes because, you know, I just got to work on, you know, stuffing more takedowns, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, so, so basically you're saying is, you know, you're happy you won, but you're not really happy with your performance. So you feel like you could have did more. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. Hey, well, that's the mark of a good fighter. I mean, like, exactly. said, yeah. And that just means you're only going to get better. Yeah. I mean, you, you, the fact that you're taking a win and you're learning from it, most people say losing is a learning experience, but you're taking a win and you're like, you know what? I'm not happy with the way I did it. I want to do something different, you know? What, so now that you know what you want, like I said, what, what do you want to, what do you want to improve on? What do you, what, do, what is something you want to do next time? Oh, just, just train harder and, um, yeah, just do better next time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, yeah. That's all we can do, you know. Always yeah. train harder. So, oh yeah. So, what's in the future for you, man? What do you want to do next? Well, I want to do another fight soon, but I took this fight um, today actually. Like, I okay. got a, I got a call from my buddy Kyle, who's he's. He's fighting next. Okay. Um, he okay. said he said that Joe Bishop couldn't fight today, and he said that I could fill in at 205 because I, I walk around under 205 anyway. Okay. So I just weighed in today and took the fight literally wow. last minute notice. Wow. Wow. And okay. and um just went with it from there. I didn't know I was gonna fight until so like you didn't go through a, you didn't go through a full camp or anything. I trained this morning. And then, came, <laughs> and, then came, and then came here from, I came here straight from training. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. 
That's cool. Huh? Cool. Uh, if uh, people want to follow you online, or if they want to, you know, see your social media or follow your journey. Yeah, you can add me on Facebook, David Gladfelter, or um, I got an Instagram page. It's David Gladfelter MMA, all one word. Okay. And um, that's that's about it. All right. Anything you want to say to uh, your opponent or future opponents? Um, be ready because I will be chomping at the bit. And to my opponent tonight, I just got to say, you know, it's it's nothing personal. You know, it's like, you know, we just we just got matched up, and you know, there's no bad blood or nothing. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to seeing Mori in Spartaca Fight League, and uh, we're gonna get into this next fight. I'm sure uh, your, your buddy's fighting, so you, you'll be watching. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm about to go out watching in a second. Yes. Actually. Okay, cool. Again, right, we'll, we'll be longer. back after the break. All right. Thank you guys. Again. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Welcome back to SFL Radio. We are sitting down with Kyle Wright. Who was obviously the winner in the last fight. Yes. Uh, Kyle, I got some questions for you, bro. So, you got to admit, that there was a pretty big takedown right there in the beginning. What was going through your mind at that point, man? Right then and there, I was Gary hit him with a 1-2. And believe it or not, he probably saw it and he shot in. And then we shot in, I was like, dang. <laughs> I was like, I didn't expect that at all. Not not right there for the get-go. Really? Like, people were telling me, like, yo, he afraid of your power, man. He's going to shoot. That. He ain't even going to stand up like last time. He's going to shoot. Go straight shotgun. And it's like I didn't expect it. So when he took me down, obviously nobody can keep me down. And then I got good top pressure, so I wasn't worried about that. I reversed it. Uh, stood up. He was trying to do some cage stuff. I'm going to beat off the cage right there. Hit him with that knee. Put him, uh, I saw him come with his head drop. I go ahead and got that call tie. Boom, right there, hook, clean. I knew he was out. So the people at home, I mean, after that big slam, was it one of those situations where it sounded worse than it really was? Because you got, obviously, well, first of all, you won. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was a huge right yeah. hand. It was a yeah. uh, right hook. Yeah, I saw the head yeah. drop. I saw the chin open and went for it. Oh, yeah. Well, I was actually surprised because um, from the angle that I saw, uh, you didn't follow up. So, I mean, was it ready for Was he ready? Was he ready? I, saw, ready he was, I saw he was already out. And, um, you know, I just wanted to show class. I already saw it. It was about stepping in. He was out. I saw his eyes roll back. I was like, nah, I ain't going to follow up. Um, you know, I'm just letting him go ahead and take his L, work on what he needs to. There's it's no point like following up with stuff. Now, I feel somebody didn't like I was like, right, this, this guy kind of, he, he kind of humble. He, he usually get big on everybody else, but he kind of showed me respect. He didn't really pop off in the mouth. So I was like, all right, we just going to keep the class. Cool. And hey, that's cool. Well, the reason why I ask this too, because a lot of people at home, and this is what the podcast is all about, is a lot of people don't know what's going through your mind at those points. And some people might be like, why didn't you follow up? Like, he yeah. already, like but they I would love to get to again. the point where I can hit somebody and realize that I'm knocking them out as I do it and then go through that whole thought process and then be like, nah, I'm not going to hit him again. <laughs> it's like, you'll, you'll see it. You know, some people see the knockout walk off. I actually waited to see his reaction. He went limp. I was like, yeah, the fight's over. If he do get up, it's just going to get more dangerous for him. You know, no point falling up. You know, I've been in this for a minute. I know when he's done, he's done. So you definitely think that she did the right decision? Oh, uh, yeah, to call sure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Anything you want to throw out on uh, social media? People can follow you? Uh, yeah, I got, uh, look me up on Facebook, Cal Wright. Um, and then uh, I got my fight page, Cal the Savage Beast Wright. You see why they call me the Savage Beast. I'm strong. You know, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep muscling everybody. And I'm working on technique and all that. You know, I'm getting better every fight. Oh, cool. any awesome. future plans? Uh, yeah, um, I actually been thinking about going down to 170. Um, so yeah, like hopefully see who's down there, uh, out there to fight me. So, uh, y'all want to you better watch out because I'm coming with power. Power that brought to, uh, was able to help me survive in heavyweight. Power that was able to give me a winning record in light heavyweight, then middleweight. And 170 is my weight. 170 is my pro weight for sure. Hey, Excellent. and it's, it's the same power that got you to win the night too. Congratulations, yep. my friend. Yeah, thank you. Congrats. All right, we'll be back after the break. SFL Radio. And we are back, SFL 36. I'm Mikey V. And I'm Chris Alani. And we are here with Joe Huggins. What's up, guys? Joe, you and you're no stranger to SFL Radio. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm glad to be back. It's a good time. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, tell us about tonight. It seemed like that first round, he, he got you down. You know, he got pretty dominant for a little bit. Uh, uh, no, I felt comfortable the whole time. Uh, yeah. He got, a, he got a good takedown off the cage, but yep. I, I felt comfortable. I wasn't worried or anything. Uh, he is hard. He's a good opponent, but I trained for him. 
Yeah, you know, I knew what he was coming with, and I prepared for it. That second round, when you came out, very intense. I yes. liked it. I think people enjoy watching that. Um, you know what? I did catch a little, uh, a little good sportsmanship between you guys too, which I thought was cool. Yeah, man, he's he's a, he's a really good guy. He's uh he's in the Navy. I'm a, I'm a Navy veteran myself. Okay. Uh, and I, I show nothing but respect to, to my uh, opponents. You know, yep. we're, all, we're all here. You know, we're all grinding. We're all got the same dream. Definitely. You know, no need, no need to. I, so I gotta ask you about tonight. Yeah. For the Shermer fight. Oh man. <laughs> I was, you know, so I, most people can remember you beat Rob Shermer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then you were supposed to fight Adrian Soto Perez last SFL, and it was a medical, a medical thing, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. So then, because of the injury, you didn't get to fight him. So uh, you're watching them go for the title tonight. How do you, how did that feel? Man, uh, I'm I'm fine with whatever way it goes. I know both of them uh, pretty uh, personally now. Uh, they're both good guys. Uh, you know, if I if I get if I have to fight Rob Shermer again, uh, he's a tough opponent. Uh, nothing more respect for him. If I gotta fight Adrian again, another another tough opponent. I respect his, his stand up, uh, but I'm gonna be prepared. You know, I, I'm I'm well rounded. I'm good on the feet. I'm good on the ground, as you guys saw. Yep. Um, yep. There's nothing they can bring to the table that I won't prepare for that I can't handle. So so your eyes on the belt. Yeah, yeah, I want a title shot for sure. Okay, okay. Awesome. I, uh, did the fight go the way you wanted it? Is that exactly how you how it played out? Or? Um, so the game plan, I knew that I would be stronger on the feet. Uh, so the plan was to keep it standing as long as possible. But I love to grapple, I love to wrestle. Uh, that's that's my usually my go-to. So when I saw the opportunity, safely, I, I, I went for it. Hey, awesome. Yeah. It shows. Yeah. <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch you fight, man. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. I, I love this organization. I love fighting for you guys. Thank uh, you. Makes me a better fighter. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, well, I guess, like I said, your eyes will be on this fight tonight and see where yes, the bone goes. Definitely. And then watching. wherever it goes, I, I feel like you'll be after it. Yes, sir. All right, congratulations. All right, thank All you, right. thank you. We will be back after the break. All right, brother. SFL Radio. All right, we are back. So we are kicking off the very anticipated return of Tommy Kawazi to the ring uh, against Chris Makate. Just kind of a cool story. You could probably hear in the background the crowd had erupted when Tommy came in on our last interview. Uh, Eat, as usual, Eat, North Carolina. Much love to you guys. Yes, they are out in force tonight. They've got a whole section, as usual. That means Applebee's made a kill in this morning. They did. Applebee's killed it. <laughs> uh, we love Team Rock. We love like all the people that come and drive all the way up here for the fights. And the ones that aren't here that are listening. And the ones watching on pay-per-view. Which is awesome. So Sadly, anyways, uh, yeah, Mikate is a, he's an ODU guy. He's an ODU wrestler. Big, a lot of fans here. So it's kind of interesting because you almost have this like city versus city thing. Yeah, so I mean, like, I want to say it's like, it's uh, in terms of support, it's 50 50. Like, yeah. you got Eden, North Carolina, you got, we're in ODU, so, you know, and I'll tell you what, we, oh, if you can hear it in the background, like I said, that's Eden, North Carolina cheering their guy on. And last time Tommy was here, uh, he fought against um, Samson, which yep. he was also in the crowd as well, too. Yep. Um, which was an anticipated fight, it was super exciting. It was, it was, a, it was, it was probably the coolest backstory too. Yeah. Um, and now Tommy's back out here. I see his uh, mom and I see his dad out there. And I was gonna say, here, Chris McCarty, local hero. You can hear it. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a real good fight. And the thing, they're both, they're both humble athletes, you know, and I like that. Yes, I like, I do enjoy that. They're humility in the fight and uh, both of them look like they're raring to go yeah um, we're gonna actually jump now because take a break because I want to watch this I don't want to miss anything we will be back SFL Radio welcome back to SFL Radio I'm Mikey V and I'm Chris Alani and we are here with an SFL Radio veteran Chris, Chris McCarty. McCarty. he's so you want to introduce himself <laughs> I like that I like that you got I'm a communications major I'm back at ODU I feel good excellent excellent yeah, yeah so you're 5-0 and now yeah um we were talking about it before the fight. You know, it's uh, you had uh, obviously ODU. You're you're a local favorite, uh, huge following out here. And then of course Tommy came out and Eden, North Carolina came out. Oh yeah, they know. came deep. Those the yeah. lot guys, they always come deep. They're yeah. always fully spotted up. I respect it. Yeah, yeah. gotta respect it. So we thought it was cool. It's kind of like a little city versus city thing. Oh so. yeah, we'll do it. We can do it. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I, but it's you are home team. That's so. right. I'm home not, team. This is ODU. Like this I said, I've told people it's. I've got more wins in this arena than any other person that's ever been on this card, any other athlete. I've been here 2012 to 16, more wins yeah. than anyone. So I don't, I don't care what that sounds like. It's the truth. I'm comfortable here. It's, uh, it's not hard for me to feel fired up at ODU. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, well, speaking of uh, getting fired up and getting seeing you over there, like I said, 
Yeah. You obviously, I said, did you have a game plan going in that? Because I mean, you did a little <clears throat> bit of everything. I saw some. I mean, granted, it was you know, it ended a lot faster than I anticipated, but. I saw some ground game. I saw some striking. I saw a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, the, we knew Tommy was a he was a Thundercat. He's tough. I know uh, it's kind of the classic uh, boxer wrestler versus Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu kind of hybrid, I guess you would yeah. say. So I knew I was expecting some. I was expecting more kicks than what he threw. So I was ready for the kicks to pull on that kick, throw the right straight right off it. That's kind of my thing or whatever. So that's what I was uh, planning on that. But I mean, I caught him pretty hard with that right hand. We were working on it all camp, keeping my damn elbow in on my right hand instead of looping it over and not knocking guys out. It has to come straight down the middle. I hit him straight down the middle. I saw his eyes do the little roll. And then I knew I just applied a little bit of pressure to be out of time for it. Either knocked him out or took a bad shot. And then my front headlock was super tight. So I just got the EG, power EG. And you won uh, with the with the guillotine and uh, and actually uh, a more rare version of the guillotine. You know the simple one is over there, but you had him pressed up. I was like, that was an interesting uh, way. I never, I never. I could tell before. by the way you could tell the wrestling the way you use your leverage. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was the power guillotine. Sorry, we have crazy fans behind us. We can't. We I can't see talk. that. That's all right. That's, that's but, what happens. You're fighting in your hometown. But, but, you know? <laughs> It's a good touch. That's what but yeah, that power guillotine, it's uh, something we've worked on, and then especially it's when they, when they take a bad shot, head in the middle, and I can get my hand in, and especially if there's a wall. If there's a wall or the cage, obviously, yeah, the counter my pressure. hip power, the hip's on the head, it's hard for guys to get out, anybody to get out. Yeah, so just, we got to ask now, man, what's next for Chris Macate, man? I mean, I'm thinking, I'm 5-0. and oh, I think, I don't know if I have the best record. I have one of the best records. And I just dropped down to 45. This is my real weight. I was going 55. I was going 55, and kind of, that was just... I was walking around 65, not really cutting too much, more about yeah. having fun and getting in there. Now I'm at 45, my real competitive weight, and I just think I have too much power, horsepower, and then um, just too much uh, gamesmanship to be beat at 45. So whoever wins tonight, winner, I think I'm going to get that one next. I mean, I think that's rightfully what should happen. All right. Okay, cool. I like it. You got some more people over there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. t-shirts on. <laughs> SFL, here's a shirt. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> And yeah, a little bit of flash, you, you got people flashing you too. There you go. You know, <laughs> All right, right? Yeah. But, um, hey, if people want to follow, we know you ask you, if people want to follow you on the internet, on the interwebs, how can you reach you? Yeah, man? I mean, on Instagram, I'm Alu, Alu Makati. I need to get that changed soon. That was like a joke my freshman year, but <laughs> Alu Makati. And then uh, on Twitter, Coach Makati. It's more my uh, ODU, because I'm an ODU coach, more my coaching account. But my Instagram, if you want to reach me for anything, Instagram at Illumicati, or you can just type in Chris Bacotti. Awesome. But yeah, yeah. come hit me up. Well, as always, it's a pleasure having you on. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks, SFL and, Radio. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. And Mike, we'll see what happens next. Right on. Thanks, brother. Hi. Thank you. Hi, brother. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> SFL Radio. I feel we, like we don't even need to say anything, Mike. No, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we definitely are just back. take it all in for a moment. You know? I know. Obviously, we are sitting here with the new, new lightweight champ, Rob yes, Shermer, the slugger. Hey, he took one of them baseball bats off his head. Hey, and, <laughs> and what? I can tell you what, I think Devon was almost as excited as you were. He came back here, and I'm he like, you're here, bro. Him. I need you like a here. <laughs> <laughs> he was like super amped up, so. Because because Rob called it, he called it exactly how he said it was going to happen in the press conference. He said he's going to do on low fucking... One of them low jabs, right? Yep. He's gonna duck his head. He's gonna take a foot clean to the face. And what happened yeah. in the first round? Yeah. Drop this man. So if you're listening, so if you're listening and you didn't get to see it, you need to see that kick. Yeah, I mean, we we saw that hole in his game. You know, prepping for him, he liked to duck and and duck and throw a jab at the body. So I was kind of waiting for him to do it. He did it. He hit me. He thought he hit me good. You know, I weathered it. I was like, all right. I was like, I'm gonna look for it again. My coach started calling for that cadence. And then he was just calling it. He called it like three times. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go for it. And I, I did the move that we practiced. I'm not going to you know, let you guys in on all of that detail. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, cool. it's still our secret, you know. But I, I pulled it off, man. And um, I'm, I'm, I lost my cool a little bit. Um, that's not really my way. But this guy just, he rubbed there, me wrong for a long time. He kept I, running his mouth. I was going to say, for people who haven't followed, there definitely was some bad blood on social media. Some yeah. funny jokes, too. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, oh, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, our team, our team <laughs> fried him with the memes. There's no doubt about that. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yes. It's been but it was definitely a lot of emotion going into this fight. And uh, you could tell the crowd. I mean, you have such a big fan base here. And yeah. I'll tell you what, Rob. Uh, is there something you want to go tell your opponent? It's, it's all said and done. Yeah, man. Um, he, he definitely has some heavy hands. I'll give it to him. 
Um, he was swinging as hard as he could, though, and that's, he that's a mistake He kept reaching for there. that overhand you right. You he can't. didn't land it one time. Yeah, you Not can't. one connected. Yeah, I'm you so try happy to go, for you, If Rob. you try to go all power, you're going to tire out. He's tired out fast. I felt him slow down. Like, after a minute, he was slowing down, and I was just staying composed. I knew it was going to come, man. I just knew, like, we had a couple of things that we were looking for, you know? So I knew one of them was going was yeah. to materialize and it was going to go down because... You, your experience in the ring definitely showed there. Yeah, I could feel it, you know? Like I said, like, when we were up against the fence, he was pushing me as hard as he could. He was grabbing my shorts. He was grabbing the cage. He was just exerting a lot of energy, and I was just calm and collected, and I was just like... I've got five minutes to work here. I'm what he get didn't grab, he didn't grab the belt at the end of the night. That's all that matters, That's Rob. Right. That's right all you. Me. You definitely <laughs> earned this tonight. I'm so happy for you, man. Thank you too, brother, man. I worked really hard for this. Yeah, and uh, in addition to that, I mean, now that you are the new champion, you got anything you got to tell Congrats, brother. Yeah, thank you everyone for the support that came out. It was overwhelming. We ended up selling seven tables, and I don't even know how many general admission tickets, and that's just huge for me. I mean, I'm not even from here. You know, I'm from a small town two hours away, and just to have that many people come to support me, man, it means the world. You know, I got to thank everyone, my whole team. I got to thank God, you know, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I got to thank my girlfriend, Ryan, my mom, you know, all of my friends, you know, everyone that I get on the mat with. You guys, I could not have done this without you, and I appreciate every single one of you, you know, and on to the next one. Yeah, yeah we're, one. we're excited to see what's next, champ. Well, now that you're number one, everyone's going to be gunning for you, man. Yeah, I'm only at the top, one. man. There was, a, there was quite a few people in here that were watching that fight. So Yeah, yeah. I'm, Huggins, got, Huggins went in there and did the job, so I'm pretty sure it'll be me and him in February. And that's cool. I want to get that one back, you know. I thought that I had, I thought I definitely had the first two rounds in our first go. So now we're going to train and fight each other again. And he's a great guy. We were in the same locker room. We, we were hanging out, enjoying each other's company, talking about training together and stuff. And I mean, that's the kind of way I like to approach this because we're not in the WWE. This is real. You know, that wrestling is fake. They have to sell that. You don't have to sell this. What happens in there is legitimate. So that's what sells the fight sells no itself. Doubt, no doubt. And, and, and yeah. We should be respectful more towards one another because at the end of the day, we're inflicting damage to each other, you know? This is a hurt business. And I mean, usually I feel bad when I hurt somebody. Right now, I'm just... I feel great, you know. We all feel great after watching that fight. First round knockout. <laughs> you dropped this man with, with so much, with the cleanest form. Everything went exactly the way I expected. I'm sure it went the exact way you expected it. Nothing but love for you over here at the table, man. No doubt. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Well, hey, man. Well, I, there's everybody, there's like people all in front of the table taking pictures. You got a lot of people to celebrate with. Yeah. So we'll let you get back there and uh, enjoy it. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, champ. Thank you. Thanks, champ. Thank you. All right, boss. SFL Radio. We are back at SFL 36. The main event is about to kick off. Uh, Jacob Ash is coming down to the ring. Elias Bradley made a, a nice entrance. Yep. And, and uh, well, tell yeah, yeah, that was the end, like I said. You're cutting each other. <laughs> we just, we're coming off a great fight, like I said. Rob Shermer, congratulations to him. Uh, new lightweight champion. But uh, before we get into the main fight, we actually have Tommy Kawazi here with us. Um, Tonight, I said it wasn't your, wasn't your night, but you know what? In true Team Rock fashion, coming in, talking with us. Yeah. Speaking of mind, first of all, shout out to Eden, North Carolina. We love it every time. I said that Applebee's made a killing this morning, probably. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I texted Tommy. Well, I saw Tommy early before weigh-ins on the boat, you know, for Jimmy's. Uh, retirement, and he looked so like I need food so bad. And I'm sitting there eating buffalo wild wings in front of him. I was, I was a little mad. I, <laughs> I felt so bad, but then I know, like when you went to Lunacy last night, when I messaged you, you ended up tearing it up on the food. So. Oh, I was no, I went all out. I got a was it shrimp po boys, fries, calamari. <laughs> yes, I got it all, man. That was awesome. So uh, tell us about the fight. What happened? Well, um, a lot happened and a little <laughs> happened at the same time. Uh, you know, I came in there, I, I trained two and a half months with this man, I went to a, a rough fight camp, but it is what it is, you know, you get caught, uh, Chris is an insanely good fighter, super respectful, uh, and it frankly feels like I fought a freight train. <laughs> yeah, he had, a, he had a lot of good things to say about you in his interview, um, you know, and, and with you it's always all class, we always expect that, so. Yeah. One day you're going to talk shit and take us off guard. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, well, it's definitely, something happened. Even if I tried, I'm terrible at trash talking. Man. <laughs> so, uh, we got with uh, the Riley fight. What do you think? What's your call? I've got no, I love them both. Um, they've both got phenomenal, I mean, both of them. Uh, Jacob, obviously, I think both stand up and ground is great, but I think it's ground's kind of the determining factor there than Elias. 
great stand up and ground, but his stand up's where it's at, so it's going to be a good mix fight. Do you know that, uh, did you know that Elias actually has won most of his MMA matches by submission? Right, that's, that's yeah. what catches a lot of people. Everybody's out. always all about his stand up, and it's like, and he keeps saying, I keep choking people out, it's like nobody wants to see that. Right. I mean, you hear him talking during the uh, interview, and it's, it's always, oh, he's going to try to take me down, I want to hit him, I want to knock him out. But, I mean, he's got phenomenal ground game as well. <laughs> yeah. It's well, going to be a good one. So, what's so your, you're not you're picking man, one. What do, you, what's, what do you want to do in the future, man? What's the uh, next uh, social? Well, not necessarily just you, but Team Rock in general. I mean, sadly, I know you guys, you're a fighter. The, the whole thing, what happened with the other fighter and stuff like that. And it was a fortune. I was really looking forward to that, and I'm sure everyone. I know. And Gracie, that was Gracie. She's so pumped up for her fight, I know. I know. She's a, she, well... She's been through two fight camps that were focused on her, so I mean, good five, six months. And then before that, when uh, Jake and I were going through fight camps, Devo, Mike, she would always participate. She, I mean, she would train just as hard as the fighters always. I mean, she's been through a good 10 months of fight camp. She's, uh, the uh, next fight coming up, I'm hoping she gets an opponent, because I know this is like the third SFL we're trying to get her an opponent, so. Just has I really that way. So. I'll tell you what, I feel sorry for anyone who has a fighter finally. Oh, oh my god, she's gonna be how mad. much pent up aggression and anger. She's, she'll be like, she's like, I'm through seven camps. It's like, jeez. <laughs> for all my Dragon Ball people, she's gonna go Ultra Instinct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bought time chamber training every yes. That's pretty much what that is. But hey, Tommy, I appreciate you coming up here. And yeah, with always a pleasure. Guys. I really appreciate uh, you guys thinking of me to come up. And I, we know this is not the last time we're going to see you. We know you're going to uh, get no. right back at it because you, I'll tell you, just like you took, you took some really good shots tonight and and tough through it. I said, God damn, Tommy can take a punch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they hit me like a train, that's for sure. But with but with that, I know you can take uh, take the loss as a learning lesson, and I know we'll that's see right. you again. We're that's excited. Right. We're, we're going to try to keep it uh, five and three, not five and four. We, <laughs> we'll see what we can you do got, next. You time. got this. Come on. Thank you. I got faith. Hi, <laughs> right, buddy. Well, hey, as always, it's been a great, great time seeing your family. I Pleasure enjoyed to always. see you guys at the uh, the retirement ceremony, mm-hmm. and uh, we're looking forward to what's next. I really enjoy being down here, seeing everybody. Thank you guys for having me on. Hi, right, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we're gonna go watch this fight. <laughs> SFL Radio. Welcome back to SFL Radio, SFL 36. The main event just concluded. I'm Mikey V. And I'm Chris Alani. And you know it's concluded because it's quiet. You, yep. Yeah. Uh, so we know. We know and you, you have been in this last interview with us before. Mm-hmm. Uh, last time we, we said congratulations, champ, but it was interim champ. And now I, you are the undisputed thank you, man. Thank featherweight you. champ. Yeah, man, it's, it's 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 a blessing. Like everything that I've I've set myself out for this year, I've I've accomplished. Um, I've been right on every prediction. You know what I'm saying? I said that he would pull guard. Did I not say he would pull yep. guard within 30 seconds? Yep. yep. I yep. said he would pull guard. As soon as he, he would push me up against the cage and pull guard, and and he did. It, it it happened just like I planned. I seen this vision and uh. Last time I seen you guys, I said, you know, next time I sit with you, I have two belts. And, That's right. You did. And now you we do. You, so. you called it. Thank Once you, guys. Yet another I'm going to start for stock tips. <laughs> oh, oh, so you know, it's like $1.2 billion now. I'm going to have to go for you. Like, I need the yeah. lottery numbers. That's right. Obviously, hey. predictions are all you. Hey, I got you. That's it. I got you. <laughs> you attract gold right Three, now. 3782. Right, give me, give me. <laughs> you heard it here first. You. That's right. Hey, I tell you this. I was la- like, when he put you in that arm bar, it almost looked like you power punched him off. Like, I slammed it him. Literally, yeah. You yeah. literally, we were like, did like, that did just Did he just launch him? Yeah, like, yeah. Launch him <laughs> and then just unleashed on him, and it was fury, man. Fury. Yeah, man. Um, I can't wait to go back and see the video. I don't know exactly what. I know. I, I believe he was going for like a, uh, he was pushing the other arm at the same time. He was holding a figure four uh, on my on my arm. So if I would have went down, he probably was gonna throw that arm bar. But as we were standing, he was pushing my leg, my arm down to work a triangle standing, which is a very, very amazing move. Like it was, I was as a fan in that little moment. I was like, wow, man, like he's got, he's throwing three, he was throwing three different submissions on me at one time. So you know, I just, I just set my arm in a spot. I knew it would be loose if I slammed him. I didn't want to fall into his guard, and uh, you know, I, I, I kind of tried to tilt him and just slam him on his shoulder, and hopefully his head would hit the canvas. And uh, I don't know if it did. It looked like it did. I pulled my arm out and uh, I, I tried to land some heavy blows. And uh, the ref called it. So those were I, heavy blows. I couldn't verify if his head hit the mat, but it certainly sounded like it. It did. <laughs> yeah, that was sure, a hard slam. It, it, it did sound like it. I definitely tried to make his head hit the canvas. I tried to turn him on the side because a lot of jujitsu guys are, are used to being on their back, which keeps their head up. So I tried to turn him on the side and slam him on the shoulder, and hopefully, you know, it'll it'll yank it and put him put it where I want it to be. So. Yeah. Well, at least this time it was another. Uh, I mean, well, technically it was a submission because you were pummeling him. <laughs> that's, 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 that's another. But at least it wasn't like. 
Because it's funny, because we were talking about all the time, like, no one wants to stand with you. No, no. one. No, no. Uh, it's, it's, it's the same approach for all of these fights, no matter what these guys say. At the end of the day, when I get in there, even if he thinks he can strike, I have too much in my arsenal. And you're going to get caught with something, and eventually you'll feel like, man, I might as well grab him. If you've done any jujitsu, you're going to grab me. But they underestimate my ground game, too. You just got to be on point everywhere. You just can't, can't get tired. I'm pretty... I'm pretty precise with my with my predictions and, and, and what I feel so and it usually happens thank so. y'all thank y'all so much man thank y'all yeah. I'll see y'all soon thank y'all and as usual you have such an amazing local following which is awesome because you fight not even in the area from right, North Carolina right, so it's great to see that you have a lot of man Hampton Roads has a lot of love for Dude, you it's, 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 it's amazing the love I get here from from you guys Spartaca uh, the, the fans the uh, it's amazing, man. Again, like you said, I'm not from here, so it's, it's it's real, real humbling to come somewhere and have hundreds of people scream my name, you know, people that I'm, I'm not familiar with or people that I've seen a couple times be like, hey, man, I got a picture of you every time, you know. Uh, I had some people tell me I looked unstoppable in here the day before yesterday, like no one could touch me. So it, it was just my job to prove them right and, and, and prove all the doubters wrong, and, and I'm blessed, man. I like to thank God. I like to thank Fitness Experience, my, uh, my main coaches, uh, Rob Nelson, uh, Brad Morris, uh, Professor Taniel, Team Abu, Aries BJJ, uh, Diego Bisbo Academy, uh, my pastor. Man, I would be here all day if I uh, you know, gave thanks to everybody. But, man, thank you to everybody. If I missed you, I will definitely make sure I say your name next time. There's many more to come. Well, this is the first time you actually, I saw you brought your kid on uh, yeah. to the ring. So yeah, that I mean, was that, awesome. Yeah. yeah, man, it was a great feeling. That was that was like winning three belts. Um, he, he's never been to a fight. You know, he's always, he's been too young. You know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never wanted him to be in, at a fight, you know, screaming and running around and everything. So this is his first fight to come to. It was a, it was a monumental moment for me to be able to grab two belts, have my son come in here, have a whole bunch of Team Loco, my coach Rob, like I was just mentioning. Uh, everybody was here for me and uh, plenty of other people, and I'm just grateful, man. I gotta ask, man. What's what's in the future for you, man? What what's the plan, bro? I I don't I don't know exactly. Um, I don't know exactly, man. It's just so me. I got so much on the table and so many opportunities. Um, if I if I can stick around, if I like, I, it's just so much big stuff going for me. Of course, I got many more times with Spartaca and Jimmy. We do great business, but if I can stick around, then um, Makati's next. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he deserves it no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's next. But I got I got a lot of things, man. Canada wants me to fight for them and plenty more things. So. You awesome. know, not to not to throw all my cars on the table, but it's no, a yeah, lot of yeah. things in my arsenal well, right yeah. now. So I'm just waiting to see what sh what's best for me. Well, when you have a showing like that, it's everyone's gonna want you. It's hard Thank to you, deny. Bro. Yeah, Thank you, bro. it's hard Thank to deny. Thank y'all. Thank y'all yeah. so we, much. And I like to think we were there from the beginning, which was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so you, so a little, yeah, a little piece yeah. of us won the championship yeah, definitely. tonight too. After the very first one, man, you guys, I can see it in you guys' eyes, man. You guys believe in me. And you, oh yeah. Y'all you, always tell me like, hey, we're looking forward to the next time, and uh, I'm glad that I've been able to sit here every time without a scratch on my face. I haven't bled all year. I finished yeah. all my and not not just, I finished all my opponents. And they've all been top opponents. It's not like yeah. I came in and was like, hey, I want to fight him. I want to fight him or whatever. Yeah. I fought the guys that they told me that they want me to fight and, and been the top guys. You know, the whole I've, I've cleaned the roster. So I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm ready to keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. So I'll be back. You know, I don't I don't take too long with breaks. I'll be right back. And that's what I was saying earlier, too, was, you know, everyone's gunning for number one. Yep. And, you know, it's loneliest at the top. So right now they got to come to you. Yeah, they got to come to me. And as we always say in good fashion, we will see you again. You will because, see me again. Because I'm sure that we will. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, thank y'all. Hey, maybe we can get a little chair with, 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 with my name on yeah, it. Right, with the, with the director's, <laughs> the director's chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. And <laughs> hey, they don't agree with it now. Maybe maybe if they three belt me, then, then they're like, all right, he deserves it. So, yeah, maybe we'll work on that. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to Jimmy about that tonight. All right, you get talk to Jimmy for me. Tell the fighter of the year needs his own chair <laughs> so <laughs> heck yeah brother well hey congratulations Thank champ you, you so deserve much, it brother. you earned it i know you got a lot of people to celebrate with tonight i enjoy watching your facebook you. i like to follow so. thank you so much man i'll be, uh, hey, I'll, be I've been I'll be liking it thank you so much man <laughs> is that like the fighter that comes into the ring comes out looking exactly the same thank you man. Actually, actually i think you're not even sweating i think you came <laughs> hey, in man. right now you're not even sweating hey, <laughs> me, champ, and chris, champ. me and chris are sweating more than not one but are. two <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's, it's it was great, man. I, I thank y'all, and yeah, man, I like I said, I came in again and I dominated. Um, and Jacob's a killer. Jacob is, is is very very versatile. He has he has plenty plenty tools, and uh, you know, just them long legs was definitely the main one I was looking at. So I wasn't gonna go to the ground with him, and uh, unless unless I was gonna be able to drop bombs, I wasn't gonna go to the ground with him. Um, but he's a great fighter, so cool. I'm glad I was able to put him also 
onto the resume. Well, so. you put him on the ground and then finished shortly thereafter. Thank so. you. Thank you. I don't know if he went all the way to sleep. It looked like he went all the way to sleep. I'm yeah. unsure. I don't know if I TKO'd him, KO'd him. I'm ready to watch the video, but it was a great, it was a great fight. It was a great moment, and I, I just can't, I can't thank you guys enough, and I can't thank Jimmy and Spartaca enough. So, uh, I look forward to doing more business with you guys. Thank definitely. You Congrats to Team Loco, and we will definitely uh, see you coming up, man, and go, uh, go celebrate, champ. You thank you, brother. It. Hey. I'm going to shake that hand again. Thank it's you. It's going to be a famous hand one day. Thank That's you. Right. Hey, hey, Already I, famous. If, when I make it, when I make it, man, I make sure I turn around and come get you guys That's and bring We're going to do your me. interview. We're going to yeah, do your exactly. interview. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> All right, brother. We'll see you soon. See you later. This is SFL 36, SFL Radio, Mikey V. And I'm Chris and Lonnie. We are signing off. Stay tuned on YouTube for upcoming videos. We have a little bit of a break, probably the longest before the next fight in February, February 1st. So, uh... We'll see you guys out at that one. And in the meantime, we got some good interviews coming you'll up. You'll see Elias, and he, yes, already run that, and he'll say he's going against Makate. So that's already one fight we know is going to at least go down. Exactly. Thank y'all. <laughs> hey, All right. And, 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 and I need to be main event. <laughs> right, hey, we, Jimmy, watch the video. He, yeah. He'll watch. <laughs> Thank y'all. Ladies right, and gentlemen, this is Spartacus.